Welcome to this Canva intro in 10 minutes. I'm gonna do my best to stick with this 10 minutes because I know how important your time is. And I also just want this to be a really quick thing you can watch to make sure that whether you're brand new to Canva and you just wanna get a bit of a rough overview or whether you've used it for a little while and feel like you're not really using it to its full potential, this is gonna be an overview that's gonna help you. I'm gonna talk fast. I love doing that, it's how I work best. And I hope that you can understand me. If not, you might need to just send a little video a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm gonna open up my Canva. This is the Canva that I've been using my entire Canva life. So there's gonna be things in here that you might not have in terms of save folders, save settings. I'm gonna show you what they are and how you can use them as well. And so I wanted to make sure they stayed there so I could show you what they were. All right, so when you first open Canva, you can open up this page. I have Canva Pro. There is a free version and the pro version. There are a couple of differences. I'll try to explain a couple of them as I come up. But in essence, you can work with Canva free for as long as you want to. But when you want to upgrade to Canva Pro, you can just do that and start paying a monthly fee for that. So in essence, this is your main kind of section here. This section will change a lot. I'm recording this in April 2023, and this is what the current homepage looks like. They are constantly making changes, so things will update. But the first thing and the main thing that I always just go to straight away is this create a design section. They've got a lot of other features, but I really recommend just going to straight to create a design. This is where you're going to decide the size of your graphic and the kind of graphic that you want to create. So whether you're creating a social media post or a logo or a poster, this is where you write it in. So you just click on the create a design section here and you can search in here anything you want. So if I wanna do an Instagram post, I can just type in Instagram and you'll see here it has the post sizes, it has a reel or a story or whatever I'm kind of doing. I'm gonna pre press Instagram post square. If I didn't have the size that I wanted me already here, so if I wanted to press flyer, you can see the different flyer options here. The little, these are the measurements of the actual design or you can type in A4 or whatever you're kind of wanting to do. I'm gonna go back to Instagram post. Um, but what you can also do is custom sizing here. If you wanna type in your own dimensions, you can change this from pixels to millimeters to centimeters to inches, um, or you can upload a file as well as you need to. But I'm gonna go back to my Instagram. And so once that opens up, you can see you've got a blank canvas here and you've got lots of options over here. This blank canvas is where you build your design. This is the design that everyone sees, that you see that you want to save into the future. Up here is where you can name your folder. So I'm gonna say name here. Um, you don't need to worry about much of this until the end or our focus on the share section. So first you've got this panel down the side here. This is where you wanna kind of make friends with. The one that automatically pops up is templates. Templates are really, really wonderful. You can search almost any template here. If you have Canva Pro, there'll be a lot more options, but there are still options if you have Canva free. So say for example, I wanted to do five tip post on my Instagram page. I could literally just search five tip and you'll see it's not all of them is five tips, but I could press this one, think, oh, that looks really amazing. And this design is already coming up as something that I can edit. So Canva has, this is a background for me right here. I've also got text here. I've got a shape here and I've got little elements here. I'll explain each one of them from scratch in a moment. Let's delete that. Down here, you've got your pages. So down here, we've got page one, page two, page three, if I just from pressing this plus button, or your Canva might automatically come up like this, where it's more of a scrolling rather than the page view down the bottom. If you wanna to toggle between these, all you need to do is click this little up arrow here for show pages, and you can see that here. You can also zoom in or zoom out, or you can view all of your pages in one kind of section here. All right, let's move over down the side here. So you've got your templates here. Um, then you've also got your elements. Elements is where I hang out a lot of the time. Here is when you can find absolutely anything. You can see you've got little illustrations here. You've got shapes here. You've got stickers, kind of animated ones. You've got photos, you've got videos, and you've got audio, you've got charts, and you've got tables, you've got frames and grids. I'm gonna quickly explain each one of these now. So first is your shapes and lines. These are just the really basic shapes that you're gonna need as you're designing graphics, whether you just want a quick square, whether you want a quick circle. So even when you press square here, you can see that I've got a few different options that pop up for me here. I can begin to type straight into here. If I wanna type straight into the shape. I don't recommend doing this most of the time. I recommend inserting a separate text box, which I'll show you how to do shortly. Or what you can do is you can click this button here and it shows you whether to add a border to it. You can change the border um, color over here. I'll get into color changing in a moment though. Or you can change the rounding of the corners or you can change what the line looks like. Um, you can also change the shape from here if you needed to as well. I'm gonna focus on the rest of these things a little bit later on. Next up in the elements section under shapes, you have graphics. Graphics here is what I call elements. If you hear me say elements, I'm meaning graphics. Here you can have anything at all from little kind of hand illustration styles to gradients to kind of stickers to like leaves, anything at all you can find here. And so how you find what you're looking for is you go to search. So if I want to find a flower, I would literally type in here flower and it comes up with a thousand different options. I would then refine that search if I wanted something particular. So if I went flower illustration or flower purple, 
I can type that in here and it comes up with those. So if you can refine it, if you want a cartoon style or you want um, a, a dainty illustration, you would use those describing words. My favorite word at the moment is like organic and it kind of has a more of like a, a relaxed kind of vibe to those flowers. And so you can actually also refine your search by pressing this little filter button here and you can search that you want a particular color. You can search what kind of look you want it to have and all these different things here. If I go into all those, I will not make it in 10 minutes. Next up, we have photos. So photos is where you can get thousands and thousands and thousands of stock imagery. You can search anything that you want here. So if I go woman on laptop, you can see in here that there is hundreds of images here. You can see a lot of these have a little crown on them. This means they're only available to pro users. So those users that are paying per month. There's also free versions. So you just have to scroll down to find the versions of the photos that don't have the little crown on them. You can see this one is free. This one is free because it doesn't have that little crown on it. Um, so you can search this however you want. Again, those same filters are available for you here. Next up, we have um, videos. We also have audio. I won't get into those because they're not commonly used. They've also got charts where you can just insert this chart. You can change the colors of it. You can change the percentage of the chart, all these different things. Have a good play with that if you're doing anything to do with charts in your business. You've also got tables, which are pretty self-explanatory. I won't go into those now. And you've also got frames. Frames are really important. Frames are where you can insert photos into. So say, for example, I wanted a square photo. What I have to do is insert a frame first by clicking on it, or I can drag it into the frame into the artboard, sorry. And I can grab a photo and literally drag that into my frame and you'll see it pops into the frame for me. If I wanna move it around after I add that in, I can double click on it and I can move it up and down. I can make the photo larger, I can make it smaller. I can't make it any smaller than what the actual frame is. So I can't make it go any smaller than this right now. I can also rotate it in here. If you ever inserted a photo into a frame and you wanna remove it, you can right click and press detach image and it will remove it from here like so. Um, there's also a few other options in this right click option. I will show you now. You can copy and so I can then press paste over here and it will paste in that new object. I can also press duplicate, which does the same thing pretty much. I can also press align. There's so many things I could teach you. I'm definitely not going in my 10 minutes. Um, if I press align, I could go position and then I could go to center alignment, middle alignment, all these different things. So in essence, have a look inside all of these alignment areas and you can play with those. There's also a layers tab. So you can actually play with all the different layers you have, which I don't have a heap of different ones going on here, which are wildly opposite to each other. So say if I pop a new image in here, we'll be able to see a little bit better. So position, overlapping, you can see all my different layers and I can move them around as kind of needed. So to edit a photo, all you need to do is click on the photo. It can be inside a frame or without of a frame and you can press edit photo here. You'll have background mover, magic eraser, magic edit, probably more are gonna come in the future. You've got all these effects over here, plus shadows over here. You've also got some filters here. So you can press see all and access all these different filters in here. I won't go into those now. You can also do manual adjusting so you can adjust um, the temperature of the image, the brightness of the image, the coolness of the image, um, all these different settings. So you can feel free to play with those as well. You can also crop an image down, which we can't do because this is inside the frame right now. So if I was to just detach this right now, I pressed, oops, got in the frame, edit, um, crop, and then I can crop this um, to being whatever I kind of want it to be, or I can rotate it within the frame. You can also crop an image by just grabbing these little rectangular handles and moving them like so. And if I wanted to make it larger or smaller, I grab these circular handles and go in and out like so. You can do this for any shape, text box, anything at all in Canva. You want to work the same way, you use this one and this one to resize. I'm going to grab those and delete them and move on to the brand hub. Brand hub, I'm not going to go into it pretty much. This is where you can save your logos, your brand fonts and your brand colors to your brand photos and your brand graphics. I have a different video outlining these inside my Canva updates video. So feel free to have a look at that if you want to know more about it. You've got your upload sections. This is where you can upload your own particular images. So you can go to upload files and you can grab images from your computer, your phone and upload those into your Canva. Um, you can do videos, you can do audio, or you can also record yourself. In here is a text section. This is my, this is going to be a section you're going to use quite a lot. You can press add a heading if you've uploaded brand fonts from your brand, or you can just press add text box. And you'll see here, it's got your paragraph text here. You can then resize that like by clicking these little round buttons here. You can double click on the text to highlight it all and then re-change the text here. And so if you click on this text box, I can then see all of my text options up here. So I've got my font options. So I've got all these different fonts in here. The ones that have a little um, crown next to them, they are pro fonts. You see this one here, this is the pro font only, or this one here is a totally free font. There is thousands of fonts here, so you won't be running out of fonts anytime soon. You can also upload them into your brand kit if you want to use your own uploaded fonts that you purchased elsewhere on the internet. You've also got your font sizing here, so I can make this large, I can make it small, um, all these different options, or you can type in here too if you want something that's not there. You can also 
edit your colors here. I'm going to go into colors now. So colors, you can choose. I've got pre-saved color palettes here, but you probably won't have those here. But what you can do is click on this little plus button and you can see all the different colors here. You can just rotate through here and then move this little circle and you can choose any color. If you want a bright green or a dark green, pastel green, all of those colors are here. Or you can search in here, green, and Campbell will kind of bring up a few color palette options for you to have a play with here. Next, we've got our bolding, our italic our underlining, our capitals or uncapitals, center alignment, left alignment, all the alignments, dot points. I'm changing our line or letter spacing. I'm gonna undo some of these so it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, not that small. Again, I'm just gonna grab this in the corner here and I can make it bigger. So say, for example, I had a couple of lines of text like so, I can change the line spacing by going up and down, make this nice and tight, or I can change the letter spacing by doing this. I can also apply different effects. So I can go to different shadows, I can do different outlines, all those different things are available for me here. I can also animate, I'm not gonna go into that now because it's a little bit more detailed, um, or you can change the opacity or the transparency. You can change this for shapes, graphics, anything at all. You just click on this little button here and move this up and down as needed. Um, and you can also copy and paste things or lock things, but I won't go into that now either. Down the side here, you've also got a draw feature, which is really, really helpful. You've also got folders here, so you can save different projects to past Canva designs. You can also save photos. You can save anything at all to a particular folder. For me, I save like my favorite Canva elements to a folder. Um, I save my different brand elements to a folder. And the way that you save things to a folder is just by hovering over an element. You can do that inside this element section. So say this circle I wanted to save, hover over it, press this little three dots, and I can add these to a folder by pressing this one here. I can also star them. I can make a new folder or I can save to a current folder already. Um, and those are kind of the main sections that you need to worry about inside Canva. There are more, but they are not necessary straight away. Once you've got a design that you're really enjoying, what you can do is go to this share button, press share. And the main section you wanna worry about here is download. Download is where you can actually save that graphic to your computer. So you're gonna press download, press PNG. These are all your different file types. So if you click on this, um, the file type it recommends you saving will be different depending on what kind of design you opened up. Um, but PNG is a great one for just images to post onto Instagram. You've also got PDF documents. You've also got SVG vector files. You've got videos and you've got GIFs. You can change that here. You can also edit the sizing of it. Although this might be a pro only feature, you can also add a transparent background to it or compress the file to be lower. Again, you can see these little crowns. This shows that it's a pro only feature. You won't have these options if you're on Canva free. And then you can also choose which page you want to save. So you can choose, see I've got all these pages down here, up to five of them. I can choose to save all of these pages as graphics or I can unselect this and just tick that I want page one, press done, and then I can press download and that's then going to ask me to save to my computer. And so those are the main things that I think we need to know about Canva. There is a lot, 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 lot more I could go into, but those are the really basic things that you're going to need to know if you're creating graphics. Hope that's been helpful for you. I have a lot longer video of this that I share inside my course, DIY Design I Biz. If you're interested in that, just head to DIYDesignIBiz.com and you can have a look at that. As I said, there's a much longer tutorial plus broken down tutorials of everything you need to make for your business, plus design principles, branding thoughts, um, and branding strategy to help you create an incredible brand that's going to stand out for your audience. I don't know why I'm still talking fast. I still try to fit in that 10 minutes. So thank you for joining me for this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit like so that more people can find it and be helped by this content. And I'm looking forward to helping you with more. Canva videos and tutorials very, very soon. Bye.